Fever, Sparks, Mercury and Storm will be for number one overall WNBA draft pick. The 23rd annual WNBA draft lottery will be broadcast on December 10th at 4.30 p.m. ET. The Indiana Fever, Los Angeles Sparks, Phoenix Mercury and Seattle Storm will be for the number one overall WNBA draft pick. The Fever secured the top spot in the 2023 draft and selected Alia Boston number one overall. Boston was unanimously named the 2023 WNBA Rookie of the Year and received all 60 votes from a national panel of sports writers and broadcasters. The 2024 draft is currently scheduled to take place on April 15, 2024. Lottery odds are based on the cumulative records of the two most recent regular seasons, 2022 and 2023. The Fever will have the most chances to land a top pick and are guaranteed at least the third pick. Phoenix has the next highest likelihood of winning the number one spot, followed by the Sparks and Storm. The order of selection for the remainder of the first round, second round and third round is determined by inverse order of the team's respective 2023 regular season records, taking into account trades and negotiations that might have affected draft order. Candace Parker opens up on playing career and personal life in new documentary. Candace Parker has done just about everything there is to do in basketball. She's won three WNBA titles, two Most Valuable Player awards, made seven All-Star appearances and was the league's Rookie of the Year. She also has two Olympic gold medals and in college she was a two-time national champion. So with few peaks left to climb in the sport, she's no longer trying to be like Mike, or even LeBron. Now she wants to emulate Jay-Z, the rapper, record producer, an agent whose entrepreneurial empire spans everything from clothing lines and beverages to real estate and technology. He has been my North Star for sure, Parker said during a break in last month's ESPNW Summit at the Ojai Valley Inn, where she was a featured speaker. I admire his forethought in knocking down the misconceptions about what you have to be to be something. It's similar to what women's basketball players are thought of. I don't think that there's any one lane that I have to fit in. Parker's latest lane change comes Sunday when Candace Parker, unapologetic debuts on ESPN, then begins streaming on ESPN+. Though Parker spends all her time in the 77-minute documentary in front of the camera, the filmmaking experience has given her new ideas for expanding her own entrepreneurial empire, one that already includes broadcasting, an ownership stake in women's soccer club Angel City FC, a production company and a shoe and clothing partnership with Adidas. Read more, Candace Parker revolutionized basketball, but she's not done. It's been unbelievable to kind of go down that lane and learn, obviously, producing and content, said Parker an academic All-American who majored in sports management at Tennessee. I'm a big history buff so I would like to do something in that space. It's important for a variety of people to tell history, different sides of history.